Hey guys, hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to my second video in my sort of Star Wars Celebration Countdown uh, little series that I'm going to be doing a weekly video on. Um, so if you missed my last week's, just scroll back to my channel. I've only done one, I've only uploaded one video since. Um, but yeah, we're getting very close. Today is, what is the date today? That is a good question. I've been at work all day. It is now 8 o'clock at night. Um, it is the 23rd of February. And we are looking at... 49 days, 3 hours and 33 minutes until Star Wars Celebration in Orlando kicks off for 2017. That is crazy exciting. We're under 50 days, um, well under 50 days until we fly out. So that's, that's super exciting. It's all starting to come together. Um, I've sort of given myself a little list of paper here that I've pegged onto my tripod. So I just sort of, I'm not humming and hurrying so much. Um, so I spoke about last week about the tattoo artist. There's going to be a tattoo pavilion at Star Wars Celebration. There has been on the last couple. Um, I'm not sure if there was one in Europe the other year, but uh, not even sure if there was one in uh, London last year, but there was one definitely in Anaheim um, the year before that. So me and my girlfriend have both sent off. We both found an artist that's going to be there. Um, I'm pretty sure they've all been announced now. I, I haven't known if that, not sure if that's 100% certain whether they're all um, announced, but we found an artist that's going to be there. We really like the look of their work. Um, and we've asked for a quote basically and just to come up with some ideas um, based on my, based on our ideas of what we want. Um, I've got something pretty solid in mind that I really want. Um, whether she comes back with it and I like it or wants to, or if I can tweak it a bit, whatever. Anyway, so we're just sort of waiting to find out whether that's an option, whether we can afford it, fit it into our budget, and um, we'll go from there. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything of what my what my ideas are, but if it's confirmed and book it in, then it's cool, I'll talk about it. But um Star Wars show today on the Star Wars YouTube channel, and you know, you can find it on their website, StarWars.com. They uh, announced that there's going to be a Thursday panel. Um, the Last Jedi panel, I think we all assumed it was going to be on the first day, so we were going to be camping out on the first night for that, but they decided they're going to put the Last Jedi panel on the Friday. Um, but on the Thursday, so the opening day, there's going to be a 40th anniversary um, panel for basically 40th anniversary of A New Hope. Um, Kathleen Kennedy is going to be featured there. As we hosted by Warwick Davis, and they basically hinted that we should be there. We'll have to be there for a big surprise. No idea what the surprise is. Um, I imagine there's probably going to be a bit of emotion with a with a maybe possibly a um, bit of a Carrie Fisher reunion, or not a reunion memorial. Sorry, wrong word. Um, so that the emotions will run high there, but. Um, I'm sort of thinking that maybe George might show up. That'd be cool. Um, I, th I think he will to celebrate his first movie. I think he'll show up. So that, that could be the big surprise. I've got no idea. Um, not not sure, um, but that's, that should be really fun. Um, so we decided we're gonna camp out that night. We're gonna get there super early in the morning, like before the moon gets up, which is crazy. <laughs> um, they also announced I think it was late last week, so it probably wouldn't have been long after I posted this video, or it was last weekend, early in this week. I can't remember. Everything blurs together. But um, they, they sort of put up a big list of all the vendors on the Celebration website, so there's going to be stacks of people there. Um, one stood out, the I can't think of what the name is. It's the main Japanese airline. They're going to have a, they're, they're going to have a booth, or like a vending station, whatever. Um, so I wonder if that hints at maybe celebration next year going back to japan um it was in japan back in 2010 i want to say at a guess please correct me if i'm wrong so it's probably probably a long time to go back to japan and if it does we might go up there so we'll see um i mean obviously i'd love more than anything to have a celebration down here in australia that would be incredible um i just don't think it's quite there yet hopefully um, as the years progress, we can we can do something, get some petitions going or something for, to Lucasfilm and Reed Pop, who organise it, and uh, show them how much us Australians really want a celebration. Um, and as of course last weekend there was our Toy Fair in New York, completely unrelated to celebration, but um, 
got to see all the 40th anniversary sort of stuff, the new figures that are coming out, awesome collection of uh, vintage inspired 6 inch figures of the original 12, um, so I'm looking forward to them as well. Like I spoke about the uh, Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot exclusive that's going to be a celebration exclusive, so I'm looking forward to getting that one. And yeah, there's going to be a couple other exclusives and some new other new figures coming out in the next few months. Um, but yeah, that was about it. There was, they didn't really show much of the three and three quarter inch line that we didn't already know about. So, you know, hopefully we can get something else from that line soon. Um, sort of, I was hoping a little bit more from the Rogue One line, but what can you do? Also today, a very important package arrived. Uh, obviously traveling around the United States, we're gonna need to carry some just sort of stuff on us. So um, we've got a backpack, and this is very Celebration Star Wars inspired. It's, uh, it's from a company called BioWeld. Um, really impressed with this thing. Got it on eBay um, secondhand, which you know it's it has the seller didn't even use it. Um, just wasn't entirely happy with it and we put in an offer and got a really good deal on it so I'm super impressed with this Rebel Squadron I think they call it um, yeah the seller was unhappy with like there's like a tiny little defect there which will probably a bit of warm water we might wash that out so but uh Rebel Squadron X-Wing and it's got Star Wars and like all the zippers have um the Star Wars logo on it. You can't see that. It's too dark in here, but that's very exciting. Um, so I have something to put all my gear in it. Not gear gear, but gear. Um, things that I buy and things that I take with me, like food and snacks and drinks and water. And I just named four things that would whatever. I'll stop. <laughs> um, that's about it for this one, guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll be sure to do one next week. And that should be very, very cool. Um, we're getting closer and closer. We're getting closer very, very quick. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hope to put up some more videos during the week. And uh, until my next videos, may the force be with you. See ya.